Hi, my name is Abe and uh, today I'm going to talk about set analysis in ClickView. What is set analysis? For me, set analysis is a quick way to display information using ClickView techniques uh, on the stage. Uh, instead of actually using the script editor to write script to display the same information, which usually takes longer, and it does. So in terms of fast deployment, set analysis wins all the time for me. For this tutorial, uh, we'll recreate this page, uh, which actually contains three tables. So the first table contains uh, both mobile numbers and home numbers, as you can see, mobile and home numbers. And the second table contains only uh, home numbers, and the third only mobile numbers. Uh, we also have uh, two text objects, okay, uh, one dynamic and one static. Uh, displaying uh, only the mobile numbers. Okay, so as you can see here, one is dynamic and the other one doesn't change. Okay, so if for example I click on uh, home numbers, that will be zero as you can see because it's mobile counts. So let's just go ahead and recreate this page. So first things first, I've deleted the actual uh, script that was there before, so we're just going to recreate. So first things first, what we need to do is to connect to our data source. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to connect to an access database, so I'll use uh, Microsoft Jet4 OLA database provider, and I'm just going to connect to the access database, employee database, and just test the connection, check whether it works. So succeeded. Click OK. Click view generate, generates this uh, connection string. Uh, don't worry about it, but you can go ahead and have a look what it does. But all it does really is just to connect you to the access database. So let me just go ahead and um, get my table. So in this instance, I'm going to get the uh, contact details table within the actual database. And you see this asterisk rather than clicking each individual item or fields, you can just click on the asterisk which will actually bring all of the uh, the tables, the fields instead, okay? So click on that, then I'm going to call this table info, okay? And you can just go ahead and save and reload. So we have these tables in there. What we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and say create a, actually we're going to create a table box and add everything apart from the ID, we don't need that, and the order. Okay, so we click OK and there we have it. We've got, as you can see down below here, we've got 213. So that's made up of uh, nine home numbers and 203 uh, mobile numbers. Okay, so what we're going to do first thing first is we're going to create a uh, text object and we're going to say count, actually we're going to count uh, the employee ID. Okay, so if we say click OK, and there we go, we've got 213. So if you choose to make any selections, it will just change accordingly. So four, okay. So I just want to get the number of uh, records that have got the uh, contact tag as home. So what I can do is basically just go back in my text object, and using set analysis is very simple. So all you got to do is basically count employee ID, and then open curly braces, okay, and then just say where. That means where, okay, so count employee ID where, oops, where the contact type equal home. So the way to read it is count employee ID where contact type equal home. So go ahead and click OK, and there we go, we've got 9, okay. So just to explain, okay, you can get the same information going uh, via the script, but to be honest, using Citrus is much faster. So there you have it. So nine of them 
over there. And if you wanted to get the same information in the script, the way to do it is as follows. So basically just get a new table. This day we're going to call it count home employees, okay? And we're going to say load ID, which is our primary key. So that's what we're going to use to link the two tables. So so we count the employee ID as home employees. Okay. And resident, which means from, get the information from this table info. Okay. Where the contact type equal home. Okay. Or mobile. So we just use home for the time being. And save that and reload. Oops. Invalid expression count home. All right. Okay. So let's just go back. So where the contact type equal home resident info. Right. What we forgot because we're doing a uh, an aggregation, you need to group it by the ID. So that's what you need to do. So save and reload, and there we go. We got nine, and we can just copy this object here. And instead of using the set analysis, we will basically just say count or actually sum. Sorry, sum uh, employee. Oh, I forgot what we called it. We called it home employees. So we just say some There you go. So there you go, it doesn't change because it is correct. So nine. So two ways to display the same information. Okay. But obviously the quickest way is to use its analysis. So let's just go back and go back in the script and say left join count home load. So we do sum home employee as total home employees resident count home. Okay. So we're going to join this field into this um, table, count home, and then save and reload. There's only one fetch because it's just the one value which contains the value of 9. So we'll just go copy that object, right click, and instead of using sum, now we can just go and say total home employee. It basically gives us the same figure. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go boom. Okay, so three ways to get the same information. One is set analysis. The other way is to get uh, within the script some home employee, or we can just get the actual uh, value that we get from this field total home employee. Okay, so uh, the next thing we'll learn basically is how to get this actual table to be static. So, as you can see here. The uh, mobile numbers actually change, and uh, whereas the uh, home table actually does not change, as you can see, it's static. Just like this one is actually static, and it's actually very simple. So all we got to do now is just go ahead and create a chart table. Okay, so it's a straight table, and what we're going to do is just say, okay, let's just add. Just want the info table. So you want contact detail, contact tab, employee ID, get the employee ID at the top. And then we go next. And from here, all you need to do is just basically, you can either say one, okay, and then say sum of rows, and then click finish. This will actually get you the 213 rows that we have, so both mobile and home contact details. So I just want to get just the home numbers, just like that, those nines, okay? So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do here is basically just 
edit the definition instead of putting one which actually counts one by one all the rows so 213 of them I'm just gonna say count employee ID where you must get the hang of it by now contact type equal home and then OK that. Make sure you select uh, expression total and just basically there you go. Now and we're going to call it as record count. OK that. There you go. So remember we said that this one didn't actually change as you can see. It is actually static so even if you click, if you make one selection it does not change. You still get the, uh, the nine uh, results. So, although this one does change, so what has changed? What is the difference? So all you need to do basically, very simple, just go back in the definition and just put a one in there. There you go, one. Click OK. One basically in click to it means uh, it's just the uh, um, the total counts. So if you put a one, it will actually sum all of the records in that table and um, but here, it just basically says 1, so bring me everything, do not actually change it. So there you go, 9, does not change. This one does not change, of course, because it's just the one value and it's the total home, which is 9. So regardless of your selections, it will always remain the same. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe uh, for more clickthrough videos. Thanks.